Welcome back, everybody. This is episode eight of Banjo Kazooie. And I think we're starting to hit the point where the levels take a little bit longer. I should be about halfway through it. Actually, I have 65 notes, four jiggies. So I am pretty close to halfway through. We may wind up spending three episodes here in Bubble Gloop Swamp, though, and. Mr. Vile the Crocodile totally whooped my butt. And after I made a fool of myself talking about, oh, this is going to be worth three whole jiggies, but no, you just have to succeed at that game. That makes me feel a lot worse about it. Like, the level of... God, how long did that take? Either way, I see why those shoes are in there. I think it's totally possible without the shoes, but it's significantly more difficult. Surely that's not the only thing you need the crocodile for. Like, I assumed that we would continue our crocogator antics in this level, but I'm not sure. You have to bash the turtle's feet. I think... Maybe I should have done that beforehand, actually. I need the crocodile to get at these things under here. If there's anything outside the level that's immediately available to the crocodile. I think I may go ahead and collect everything here and then just fast forward or jump cut or something. Because I don't think you want to watch me... But for one, I can't provide quality commentary in what amounts to going back through that stupid... Ugh. Maybe I will just go outside and see if there's anything. I think... Come on, get the token, buddy. Okay, yeah, there were two of them. And I used up all my gold feathers in a kind of dumb way earlier. Yeah, we'll backtrack out of here and see... Almost positive that I probably needed to hit a switch first. I shouldn't have gone to Mumbo first, but oh well. That's a lesson learned. What was I talking about? I can't really compare the parts of... I shouldn't compare the parts of Ukulele that I've seen that you haven't yet, really, but... Well, no, you'll have seen... They won't have seen any of Moody May's Marsh yet. Because... The next episode of Ukulele will be finishing up... Glitter Glaze. Yeah, for some reason my Xbox likes to be offline. I, I don't need you to tell me that game. Yeah, here we go. Uh, actually, there is something that I know for sure... You have to be small to get through. I'm just not sure exactly where it is. Hopefully whatever needs to be done back here, I can do... Okay. What is this? It's Freeze Easy Peak, isn't it? Yeah, that's the name of it. I remember a couple episodes back, I was trying to name everything. That... How do you get rid of that? Like, I could... You had several different kinds of eggs in Banjo-Tooie. And they're like, oh, I could use fire eggs on that. Wait, this is the first game. That's not correct. Oh, it's the waiting boots, so I can get back here. But yeah, now I know where to go... for that level. Anyway, Moody Maze Marsh, I'll go ahead and spoil it. I feel like has... I suppose it's kind of a combination of the two. Of Tribal Stack and Glitter Glaze Glacier. It's got a w lot of wide open stuff that you can kind of swing up to and get. But it also has a bunch of little concentrated areas that have a bunch of stuff in them. Maybe I'm insane and there isn't anything for the crocodile to do. Shrugging my shoulders. But that got me back to Banjo-Kazooie form so I could do what I know what I'm after. It also got me a cheap shot 
from Grunty's hench thing. Oh no, this is not a good location for me to be. Uh. Yeah, Grunty, we believe that. Tootie says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. I guess I have to hit all the croc die in one go. It always bothered me, even as a kid, that their eye colors are different on the actual model in game, but they're the same. Oh, he takes two hits. Okay. I did not want to risk engaging him in melee. With like half my health. We may just go ahead and not get all these bits in. I almost called it Moody Maze. Bubble Bloop. Okay, all the way up there. I know that there's a neat little bit inside the turtle. Why? Well, I forgot to come back over here and get this. Like, I earmarked it in my brain for when I wasn't doing the fast bit. Uh, is it? Oh, I already hit... I was looking for the stupid... Croctus guy. And I already did that. I... I'll admit to being a little bit sleep deprived, but even that... That's no good excuse. I'll go ahead and smack all your flippers. It never occurred to me as a kid that I guess the thing here is that you're getting him to draw them inside for warmth. I always thought it was weird that actually hurting him made his extremities warm. Which really, you'd think he'd be smart enough to do that on his own. Yeah, I believe this is, uh... Oh! That's an easy jiggy. Tank dump. And inside him is a character you may know and love from uh, Diddy Kong Racing, Tip Top. Which is a much funnier name for a turtle in my opinion. Yeah, this is a memory game. If I said that I was good at those, would you immediately think, oh, that means he's gonna fail it two or three times in a row. I'm nodding. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Alright. Blue. Orange, yellow. Blue, orange, yellow. <laughs> Bit short. Blue, orange, yellow, right? That's red, actually. It shows you from the front, which is kind of annoying. I also like how this game is very violent towards turtles. Okay. Red. Sky. Pink. Yellow. Red. Red sky, pink, yellow, red sky. Red. Red. Sky. Yellow. Nope. Red. What? I had this. Okay. Oh, it, I didn't have to start over. Red sky, pink, yellow, red. 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 Okay, repeating it like that just made me forget the whole thing. Or it didn't actually, but. It's like that thing where if you say a word too many times, you start to not even know what it means anymore. Okay. Hopefully it's just the t What? Did I not go back and smash red? This has just been an incredible opportunity for me to screw up horribly on camera. Over and over. 
Okay. Okay. Get this one on the first try. Sky. Red. Purple. Yellow. Pink. Yellow. Red. Sky, red. Purple. Pink. What? I'm very not comfortable with trying to do it from the middle like it seems to want you to do. Okay. Sky, red, purple. Sky, red, purple. Sky, red, purple. Sky, red, purple. Yellow, pink. Yellow, red. That's where I screwed up. The sky is not red, which makes it very easy to remember that. The fact that I decided to call the light blue sky blue also helps with that nonsense. The frames are dropping pretty severely here. Or the lag, or whatever you want to call it. Yellow, pink, yellow, red. That's really like fuchsia or some weird shade of purple, but... Called red orange earlier, so I can't really, uh, speak. But if anybody's orange, it's tipped up himself. In the, uh... Little head mama mama portrait. Looks a heck of a lot more like a frog than a turtle, I just want to say. I think what's going on- wait. Is there light up there? What? Oh, good- wow, that's a good thing I did that. I wonder if that's intentional, that spotlighty thing is intended to help you figure out that that's up there. <laughs> at this rate, I'm gonna need those. Look at my honeycomb situation, has been pretty awful throughout this whole pair of videos. Okay, uh, did I already blow that guy? Yes. I'm referring, of course, to that honey hive that was over there earlier. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and smash. There is a lot of hut smashing in both of these games. You have to do it to get the spring pads, I guess. Ah, uh, here. I bet this is what I need the crocodile for. Nope. There's no way he's getting up there. Did I get... I didn't even find the witch switch in Clanker's Cavern, so I didn't need to worry about that, I guess. I've always found it easier to just spam eggs. There's another one. I think I know where that is. Oh, come on. I assume there's a jiggy in the last thing up here. Oh. Let's just miss the mumbo token over and over again. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm dead. That, that's over. I'm dead. I'm gonna fast forward here because I do want to get the last couple bits. I really want to say that that stupid mumbo token is just in the most awkward position. Okay, we want to get this jiggy. And I'm missing like a tiny handful of notes and three jiggies, one of which is from the Croco Man, Mr. Vital the Crocodile. That, that rhyme is in something else and it's bothering me that I can't think of what. I should have checked to make sure that the other Croctus is actually existing. I wonder how big the worlds in Banjo-Tooie are. I feel like they're significantly larger than in this game, but not as big as... There's a Jinjo over there. Should get us. Ugh. I assume that you can use uh, invincibility power 
to uh, not get eaten, which would be sort of handy. I don't really need the eggs. Which would actually let me... Okay, all 100 notes. That's good. Which Jinjo am I missing? Orange. Who knows where that sucker is. Actually, I think I see him. Oh, that's a red feather. I don't know why I thought that was a Jinjo. I don't know why I thought the the distance in this game was enough to, for the Jinjo to be that tiny. We are going to find Croctus, and we are going to call it after that, I think. I should have paid... He's on an island somewhere. Wow. I am failing pretty... Th it's... Oh. Oh. I should have looked over there when I re-entered the level. Okay. Eight jiggies is plenty. This has been Bubble Gloop Swamp. I will see you in episode nine of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, where we go to one of my favorite levels. Uh, I just saw the name. Freeze Easy Peak. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You know the deal. Next episode of Ukulele on the left. Next episode of Banjo-Kazooie on the right. Playlists for both in the description below. And as always, thank you for watching.